Are we able to balance between um, staying committed to what we need to do versus what we need or what we can let go? Well, we had this discussion earlier this quarter or a month or so back. Anybody want to share? <clears throat> Uh, recently, I went to my hometown, Jay, actually, so uh, I noticed one thing, uh, like there are many people, different kinds of people, few people whom, whom I used to like, few people whom I used to avoid. But this time when I went, actually, I never had any such feeling. Uh, it's like uh, all all uh, harmonious feeling, actually. Beautiful. So it's a big Beautiful. change, which I observed this time, actually. Beautiful. Awesome. Glad to hear that. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else want to share? <clears throat> I J Aruna here. Yes, Sandal. Yeah. Yes, sir. So uh, one observation is like I earlier on uh, any small uh, thing or interaction, I used to ruminate a lot about it. Yes. But now I am uh, even without awareness, it's just fading. Like I'm not overthinking. This is a superpower. <laughs> this is a superpower. Yeah, to let go of uh, such negative feelings that are not really helpful is indeed a superpower. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else want to share? <clears throat> It's three minutes. Um, I'm not sure if people are all on a different, <laughs> in a different meeting. Let's give them a minute more to join, and then we can get started. <clears throat> but this link works better because there is the chat history is available for all of us to communicate. The uh, video is available, but uh, that was not with the previous um, or at least last month's meeting in mind. Hey, Nageshwar, good evening. Good evening, Jay. Did you have trouble joining this call, uh, Nageshwar? Uh, no, Jay. Sometimes I come to home and join. Okay, no problem. Hey, Ankit, good evening. Good evening, Jay. Good evening. Hey, Tanisha. Good evening, Tanisha. Hey, hi. Good evening. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the forum. Let us begin again. It's four minutes uh, into the hour. Sitting in any comfortable posture, meditative posture. Sitting just a bit taller. Bring the elbows, bent elbows by the sides of your body. Place the back of your hands on your thighs. Palms facing up. Eyes softly closed. Open palms. Open heart. Open mind. Three deep breaths. After uh, taking three deep breaths, <clears throat> allow the breath to come and go as it pleases. And observe <clears throat> the flowing experience of receiving every breath. Receiving and letting it go. 
receiving and letting it go. And how it feels to receive a breath in and how it feels to let go as the breath leaves. Just that, nothing more. Nothing to compute, compare, analyze. No need to root cause anything. Or predict the next breath. You don't want to push against the breath coming in. Nor can you really hold on to the breath that is leaving. No resistance, no flinging. Life just as it is. Life, just as it is, is a miracle. Underneath the drama, every moment a miracle. Palms to the heart center. Namaskar Mitra. May this practice be for the benefit of all beings. Let us take a resolution to follow the instructions of Hatha Yoga diligently with attention. Chin to the chest. Open your eyes. Inhaling, take the arms by the side, palms going up, looking up. Exhaling, palms coming down to the chest, looking down. <coughs> Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. And one last round, inhaling up, exhaling, release, come up to standing. Take a broad stance.
make sure that your toes are slightly pointing toward each other, slightly pointing toward each other. Normally, we tend to have our toes pointing away from each other. Hands on the base. Take a deep breath, exhale. Inhaling center, exhaling, bending toward the right wall. Look over the left shoulder. Slightly bend the left knee, slightly bend the left knee. And feel the inner thigh, right inner thigh, getting stretched even more. Inhaling center. Next exhalation, bending toward the left wall. Look over the right shoulder. And slightly bend the right knee. Inhaling center. Four more rounds. completing five rounds. Come to center, take a deep breath, exhale. Next inhalation, back bend, moving your hips to the front, chest to the front. Take the arms out and to the back. Take the arms out and toward the back. Next exhalation, hugging yourself tightly, chin to the chest, bending forward. You can bend the knees, not a problem. Four more rounds. Inhaling, back bend, arms out and toward the back, look up. Next exhalation, bending forward from the hips, hugging yourself tightly, chin to the chest. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Total five rounds. As you take a back bend, shoulder blades on your back are going toward each other. And as you hug yourself tightly, the shoulder blades on your back going away from each other. Stretching the throat as you take the back bend, stretching the back of your neck as you bend forward, chin to the chest. After completing five rounds, hands on your waist, take a deep breath, exhale. Arms out to the sides, parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Inhaling center, exhaling, bending toward the right wall, or bending toward the right wall. Allow the right ear to fall down to the right shoulder. Left arm up and over. Left fingers reaching for the right wall. Inhaling center. Exhaling, bending toward the left wall. Left arm hanging behind the left leg. Right fingers reaching for the left wall. Left ear falling down to the left shoulder. Inhaling center. Four more rounds.
intelligence with attention, no aggression. Ahimsa starts with our own body and mind. Nothing to force. You are merely testing your edge with each posture. That's all. And your edge could be different from the first round to the fifth round. You are merely courageously testing where the limits are and so on. After completing five rounds, hands on the knees. Take a deep breath, exhale. Remember, no aggression. Consciously, courageously, we reach for the edge. Not cross the edge, we reach the edge. It might be a bit unpleasant though, but we, that is where the diligence is. Diligence without aggression is to reach for the edge consciously, courageously, and then come out of it. As we keep approaching the edges, magic happens. Arms up parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Inhale center, exhaling, twisting toward the right side as much as you can. Look over the right shoulder, even past the right shoulder if you can. Inhaling center. Exhaling, twisting toward the left. Look over the left. Inhaling center. Four more rounds. And once again, the first round versus the fifth round, there could be a difference with respect to the edges that you find. No matter, with every breath, every posture, diligence without aggression. And what prevents the diligence from becoming aggression is the awareness right here and now. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Rotate the right foot out to point toward the right wall. Interlacing your fingers on your back, press the palms together. Bend the right knee and bend forward from the hips and then take your chin toward the right foot downward. Take the chin toward the right foot as best as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come to center. Rotate the right foot in. Take a deep breath, exhale. Rotate the left foot out. Bend the left knee. Inhale. Exhaling, bending forward and down toward the left foot as much as you can. No aggression. You're merely finding the edge as it is with this breath. That's all. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling center. Rotate the left foot in. Hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Bend your knees as comfortably as you can, taking your seat bones behind you, sitting in an imaginary chair, Utkatasana. The knees are not going further than your big toes. Five. Four, three, two, 
one. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, hands on your waist. Release your arms, bring your feet comfortably closer, stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Namaskaram, Dram. Three fresh flowers to be offered to the universal. Making the three rounds of Surya Namaskara as three flesh, fresh flowers. Diligence with attention. Begin. If the mind wanders away, begin again, paying attention to the current experience of creating fresh flowers. An offering through the universe. Every breath, every posture, every transition. Practice with diligence and attention. There is no perfection in postures or there is no a single perfect posture for everybody. If you are diligently reaching your edge with your attention, that is perfection. And if you keep regularly practicing that, that is perfection.
even as you stand relaxed. Continuing the practice of paying attention to the flow of experience, breath coming and going. Various parts of your body calling attention. Lovingly pay attention. Like a mother would pay attention to a child needing attention. If a part of your body calls attention, loving. Three deep breaths. Let us approach few twisting postures to build on the forward bending postures that we practiced last session. Let's start with uh, simple twisting postures. Feet hip width apart. Namaskar. Bend your knees with katasana. Uh, palms uh, at this heart center. Start with palms at the heart center. Simply bend. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, come up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now, next time, we're going to bend the knees and bend your upper body as much as you can. And we're going to take the right elbow over the left knee and twist. Inhale. Exhaling, bend your knees. Bend your upper body as much as you can toward the floor. Right elbow over the left knee. Right elbow over the left knee. Open up the left shoulder. Five. Look up at the ceiling if you can. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, come to center. Next inhalation, come up straight. Release the arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Exhaling, bend your knees deeply. Bend your upper body down toward the thighs and then take the left elbow over the right knee. Open up the right shoulder up toward the ceiling. Look up at the ceiling if you can. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come to center. Next inhalation, come up straight. Release the arms. Stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now let us um, approach Parivirta Prasarita Padatana. Spread your uh, feet as broadly as you can. Allow the toes to slightly point inward, like how we started. So the weight of your stance should be slightly on the outer edges of your feet. If the weight is on the inner arches, bring your toes to point even more toward each other. So your weight is solidly on the outer edge, not collapsing the inner arches. 
hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up towards the ceiling. Palms facing the front. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending forward halfway. Bend the knees. Look at the look at your thumbs. As the thumbs are going away from you toward the front wall. Look at your thumbs. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, straighten up. Exhaling, hands on the base. <clears throat> Take a deep breath, exhale. Manjit, you can shorten your stance just a bit. Yes, that's good. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up toward the ceiling. Palms facing the front. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, halfway bending forward. You can bend the knees. Now allow the arms to hang loose toward the mat. Bend your knees further and reach the mat. You can bend the knees, not a problem. Now place your right palm right underneath your heart and place the left palm on top of the right palm, right hand left hand on top of the right hand on the ground. Srini, place the palms on the ground. Right palm down is the center and left, palm, left hand over the right, that's it. Now bring the left hand to the left waist. Open up the left shoulder toward the ceiling. Not much weight on your right hand. Right hand is on the ground just as a guidance. Now stretch the left arm up toward the ceiling. Turn your head and gaze at the left thumb if you can. Five. Four. Three. Two. One left hand on the left waist and then left palm down hands on the waist inhaling come up take a deep breath exhale arms up towards the ceiling palms facing the front inhale growing taller exhaling bending half way down you can bend the knees, not a problem. Allow the arms to hang loose. Bend your knees further, reach the ground. Left palm down be, be below the heart and right hand on top. Right hand on the right waist. Open up the right shoulder toward the ceiling. Not much weight on the left palm. Right arm up toward the ceiling. Gazing at your right thumb by turning your head if you can. Five deep breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Right hand on the right waist. Right palm down. Both hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. Release the arms, bring your feet comfortably closer and stand relaxed. <clears throat> what is your breath telling you now? Each breath is a fresh creation. And it reflects the reality of the body and mind. 
<laughs> Excuse me. The breath reflects the reality of the state of the body and mind. If the mind is agitated, the breath can tell. Or the breath reflects the agitation. If the body is healed, the breath reflects that illness. And if the body is healthy, the breath reflects that. If the mind is joyful, the breath reflects that. Take another deep breath exhale. Lie down on your stomach. Makarasana. Separate your feet comfortably apart. Even outside the mat is fine. Try pointing the toes away from each other. Inner feet on the ground. If that doesn't help relieve the lower back. Toes pointing toward each other, try that. If that is, doesn't sound comfortable or feel comfortable, have the toes point toward the back. Stacked hands, cheek on the stacked hands. Feel the breath on your back. With the abdomen and chest slightly constricted, you can feel the ribcage expansion on your back even more. Makarasana. Take a deep breath exhale. Let's approach a simple twist. Now we are going to keep the shoulders in place and then move the hips. Usually we keep the hips in place and move the shoulders. Bring your feet close together. Bring the chin to be placed on the stacked hands. Chin on the stacked hands. Hands stacked uh, on top of each other. Bend at the knees. Now, keeping both the shoulders down exactly where they are, take your feet toward the left side. Open up your left hip and take the feet all the way to the left side floor. Your right shoulder might tend to come off. Make sure that the right shoulder stays down. And then finally, you can place your left cheek on the stacked hands. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Bring the feet to the center. Chin to the stacked hands. Take a deep breath, exhale. Once again, keeping the shoulders closer to the ground. Next exhalation, take your feet toward the right side as much as you can. Open up the left hip and take the feet toward the right side and place your right cheek on stacked hands. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Chin to the stacked hands. Bring the feet up and release the feet, Makarasana. Separate the legs comfortably apart. 
and your right or left cheek on the stacked hands, whichever feels comfortable for you. And begin again, paying attention to coming in and going out of each breath. Take a deep breath, say. So let's um, um, have a variation of Pujangasana with a twist. Bring your feet hip width apart. Bring your palms by the side of your face, chin down on the mat. Palms by the sides of your face. Toes pointing toward the back. Or in fact, tuck your toes in, tuck your toes in. Inhaling, chin up, head up, chest up, press the palms and slightly straighten the elbows, slightly, not all the way, halfway. Now, next exhalation, look over the left shoulder and look at your left heel. Bring the head up and look over the left shoulder toward the left heel. Three, two, one. Go back to center. Inhale. Next exhalation, take your, turn your face toward your right shoulder and look over the right shoulder and gaze at your right heel. Five. Four, three, two, one. Exhaling, chin down, Makarasana. Usually we bend forward and twist. This is one of the postures where we combine twisting in a back bending posture, a variation. We're going to approach the same posture, but go a little deeper. Take a deep breath, exhale. Bring your feet hip width apart, toes pointing toward the back. Chin down on the mat, palms by the sides of your face. Inhaling, chin up, head up, chest up. Straighten your elbows halfway. Inhale, exhaling, Turning your head over the left shoulder. Straighten up your right elbow even more as to help your opening up of the left shoulder. Straighten up the right elbow even more so you can look over the left shoulder. Three, two, one. Exhaling, chin down on the mat. Take a deep breath. Inhaling, chin up, head up, chest up, halfway extend your, your elbows. And then turning your head and looking over the right shoulder, extend your left elbow even more to allow opening up the right shoulder so you can look further toward the heel, five. Four, three, two, one. Chin down on the mat. Makarasana.
three deep breaths. Come to Sukhasana. Palms facing up. Softly close your eyes. What is the breath telling you? about the state of the body and mind. Remember, we are not judging anything. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is bad. We are not judging. We are merely observing what it is, how it is right now. It could feel pleasant or unpleasant that matters less than the noticing of the pleasant or unpleasant experience. Hatha Yoga is to go transcend the polarities of life. Pleasant and unpleasant, left and right, out and in. To transcend the polarities of life in Sahasa Yoga practice. Take a deep breath, exhale. Right foot on top, open your eyes, right foot on top, Artha Padmasana. Take your right arm behind you. And those who are flexible, catch hold of the right um, foot or the right toes, if you can. No aggression. If you can do that, it's OK. Otherwise, just keep, simply keep the right arm close to the body behind you. That's all. Place the left hand on the right knee. Inhale, straighten up the spine. Exhaling, open your right shoulder toward the back wall. And with the left hand on the right knee, gently getting the left shoulder to go toward the right knee. And finally, look over the right shoulder. Gentle twist, five. Four. Three, two, one. Inhaling center. Release the legs. Shake your legs. Sukhasana. Left foot on top. Ardha Padmasana. Take your left arm close behind you, and those who are comfortable, catch hold of the left foot with your left hand from behind. Again, no aggression of any kind, only if you can. Otherwise, simply keep the left arm close to the body. Right hand on the left knee. Inhaling, straighten up the spine. Exhaling, take the left shoulder toward the back wall. Gently getting the right shoulder to move toward the left knee. Look over the left shoulder. Remember to keep the spine straight as you twist your shoulders um, with the seat bones fixed to the mat. You're rotating the shoulders for the twist. Five. Four, three, two, 
upon inhaling release the posture release the legs check your legs sukhasana take a deep breath exhale come to vajrasana vajrasana your your knees are together your toes are together heels are separated and you're sitting between the heels vajrasana now place your palms on the mat and take your seat bones outside your left heel and sit on the mat outside your left heel once you find the balance take your right arm behind you close to the body left hand on the right knee twisting toward take your right shoulder back and look over your right shoulder and finally turn and look over your left shoulder keep the shoulders exactly as it is and turn your head and look over your left shoulder bharadvaj asana 5 4 3 Two, one. Release the posture and go back to Vajrasana. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Sitting beyond the right heel. Take your time. And once you reach the final posture, take your left arm behind you, wrapping your body if you can. Right palm on the left knee. First, straighten up the spine and look over the left shoulder first, and then finally look over the right shoulder. Turn your head. Toward the right shoulder, Bharadvaj Asana. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, release the posture. Vajrasana. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Lie down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side. Settle back down. Make any final movements before proceeding to Shavasana. Letting go of your body completely. awareness resting your awareness around your abdomen
receive every breath without any resistance. And let go of the breath leaving without any clinging. Relax. Relax. Shanti, 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 Shanti. Gently come out of Shavasana and come to sitting. Roll to the right side and get up with eyes closed. Coming to any comfortable meditative posture. Take your hands back. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending forward. Thank you, Mother Earth. Inhaling, come up. Wrap your palms vigorously, generating heat. Massaging your closed eyes and gently blink your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Have a good evening and a good day ahead, a good weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Jayesh. Today's session, I felt like uh, I'm feeling very light, like I have shredded some around uh, five, six kgs of weight from my 